to hydrocarbons. Carnel compounds are reduced to hydrocarbons by two reactions. One is Clemenson's reduction, the other one is Ulf Kishner reduction. Clemenson's reduction involves reduction of aldehyde or a ketone with zinc amalgamate concentrated HCl. It involves reduction of aldehyde or ketone with zinc amalgamate concentrated HCl. Wolf-Kishner reduction in Wolf-Kishner reduction aldehyde or ketone is heated with hydrazine and potassium hydroxide in a high boiling solvent such as glycol so in Wolf-Kishner reduction aldehyde or ketone is heated with hydrazine and potassium hydroxide in high boiling solvent such as glycol now let us see what happens in wolf kishner reduction and clemenson's reduction in wolf kishner and clemenson's reductions the carnel group in aldehyde and ketone is reduced to methylenic group means the carnel group c double bond o group is reduced to methylenic group means uh, the c double bond o can be replaced by ch2 if there is zinc amalgamate concentrated HCl or hydrazine and potassium hydroxide on the arrow. Now let us take one reaction ethanol. On the arrow zinc amalgamate concentrated HCl is there. So what happens replace C double bond O by CH2. I will get CH3 CH3 means I will get the corresponding hydrocarbon. Let us take one more compound C6H5 C double bond O CH3. This compound is now treated with hydrazine potassium hydroxide means this is Wolf Kishner reduction. In Wolf Kishner reduction also replace C double bond O group by CH3. C, C double bond O group by CH2 C6H5 CH2 CH3 replace C double bond O group by CH2 so this is Clemenson's reduction and wolf kishner reduction now if you see again I am repeating in Clemenson's reduction and wolf kishner reduction the C double bond O group of carnel compound is converted to CH2 and we will get the corresponding hydrocarbons but one more point we have to learn here Clemenson's reduction is widely used for reduction of aldehydes or ketones which are sensitive to alkali means what is that if I take a compound like this and treat with from this compound I want to convert a compound like this chlorohexane means here the carbonyl group should be reduced to CH2 but Cl should not get affected so here what should I use zinc amalgamate concentrated HCl only I can use now let us see what happens if I use hydrazine and potassium hydroxide again I am repeating if, if this compound 1 should be converted to compound 2 I should use zinc amalgamate concentrated HCl only here what happens if I use hydrazine and sodium hydroxide if I use hydrazine and potassium hydroxide here in presence of aqueous KOH Cl will be replaced by OH so I will get this compound means C double bond O is reduced to CH2 because this is Wolf Kishner reduction but in Wolf Kishner reduction aqueous KOH also will be there so Cl will be replaced by OH so I can use Clemenson's reduction but not Wolf Kishner reduction for this reaction because the substrate is alkali sensitive again I am repeating Clemenson's reduction is widely used for reduction of aldehydes or ketones which are sensitive to alkalis 
that is Clemenson's reduction. Now Wolf-Kishner reduction. Wolf-Kishner reduction is widely used when the carnel compounds are sensitive to acids. So what is that? If I take a compound like this, from this compound I want to prepare this compound means compound 1 should be converted to compound 2. What should I use? What is happening here? C double bond O group is reduced but OH is not being affected. OH should not get affected but C double bond O group should be reduced to CH2. So what should I do here? I should use hydrazine and potassium hydroxide. What happens if I use, means here I am using Wolf-Kishner reduction. What happens if I use zinc amalgam and concentrated HCl, means Clemenson's reduction. So here what should happen in the reactant? OH group should not get affected but C double bond O group should be reduced to CH2. But if I use zinc amalgam and concentrated HCl, OH will be replaced by Cl. And C double bond O group will be reduced. Means I am not getting the expected product here because the reactant is acid sensitive. So I should use wolf kishner reduction but not Clemenson's reduction. Again I am repeating Clemenson's reduction is widely used for the reduction of aldehydes or ketones which are sensitive to alkalis. wolf kishner reduction is used when the carnel compounds are sensitive to acids. In wolf kishner reduction or Clemenson's reduction, C double bond O group will be converted to CH2 means we will get the corresponding hydrocarbon. If zinc amalgam and concentrated HCl is there on the arrow, it is Clemenson's reduction. If hydrazine and potassium hydroxide is there on the arrow, it 